What's up? Good morning, guys. It is very early in the morning. In fact, it is, I don't know if you can see it there, it's 3.13 uh, in the morning. You know, I finished up uh, detailing last night at about 10, 10, 15, and now I'm heading off to the airport to go to Missouri for the day. The question is why? I'm going to Missouri to look at another Ford GT for a client. And the question is, should we buy it or should we not? So you're going to help me find that out today. We're going to go through all the, the checklists and, and, and take a look at the car and get a gut feeling for it. And uh, we'll make a decision and, and talk to the buyer and, and let them know that uh, what we think about it. In the meantime, if you had listened to one of my podcasts, uh, here it is right here. My morning special drink that gets me going and it's, uh, it's unbelievable. But hop onto the podcast and, and check out all the ingredients and we'll, we'll actually shoot a video on this one day. But anyways, I need my little pep in the morning. Um, got a couple hours of sleep. So let's get on the plane, let's get out there and let's see what we got. All right guys, I made it out here to Springfield, Missouri as they like to say, Missouri. Uh, it's ridiculously hot um, and the guys are really nice here. I'm at, uh, as you can see back there, Premier Sports Cars again in Springfield. They, uh, I'll, take you, I'll give you a little tour. They got some pretty cool uh, hardware and we're in the detailing bay. Got some guys back there. You might hear some you know, people polishing back there and over there. Um, and of course we have a, a nice rotary lift. It's pretty nice to work in a car like this. And one of the things that I found interesting is when I called up and said, hey, I'm coming out here to look at this car, they were very uh, open to putting it on the lift and taking the wheels off and taking the belly pan down and doing whatever it is that I needed. Um, so right off the bat, instantly, it's kind of like you know, the police come to see you and they ask you all these questions and if you say, no, 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 I want to lawyer up, the, the police get, the, the police get uh, you know, like, oh, wait a second, what's going on? But if you say, hey, I'm an open book, you can look as much as you want, I'll talk to you all day long. I'm using an analogy here. That's what these guys are like. So when I came here, I kind of already knew, hey, these guys are open that, you know, I'm excited that they're not trying to, oh, we're not going to put it on a lift. Ah, we don't want you to drive it. Ah, no. they, they didn't do that. So that's a big indication to me when you're looking at any car. Make sure you we talked about this in the PPI uh, on the drive clean episode. Uh, that's a big deal is to sort of vet that person. So right off the bat, uh, they got a nice big check from me. So that was cool. Uh, but let's run through. There are a few things. My job is to find little nicks and I'll show them to you. And you help me decide whether it's uh, whether I should recommend this or not. So let's do it. All right. So I'm behind the camera now and I want to show you a few spots that I think are uh, worth noting. You see a spot right here. Boom. Little bit of chip mark. Let's see if I can get that focused for you. A little chip mark there. Not the end of the world. All right. And then I see something here right on the back frame. I'll point it and then focus on it for you right there. And come focus. So maybe a mechanic working on something. Is it a big deal? Nah, I don't think it's a huge deal, but it's definitely something worth noting. You take a look down in here, it's actually pretty clean. It's very clean. I'd almost go so far as to say abnormally clean. The shocks not leaking at all, which is a very big deal because uh, these have a tendency to leak and drip down. Uh, the belts are really tight. And we go back here, there's another little spot right here. You're not gonna be able to see it. It's so small, you're not going to be able to see it, but there's another spot right there. I can feel it with my nail. The exhaust looks good. Back looks good. Everything aligns, matches. The paint depth gauge is right on target. Uh, right in here. See that back there? That's the VIN number to make sure that the engine matches the car. So, it, of course, it is matching, which is important. Remember in the last video we talked about this? It's got uh, the original Eagle F1, so those are original tires, um, indicating to me, if you look at the tread, the tread is pretty solid as well. I apologize for the, for the darkness here, but um, there we go. The tread uh, is good, indicating that he's not doing burnouts or something or revving the engine, etc. All right, door panels. Door panels look great. Got a little scuff under here. Let's get a light on that for you. A little scuff under there. All right. Panel's good. I like that this blue 
you know when you buy a new car they have the blue stuff that they put on a lot of guys don't take it off and see this little edge pulled up right there so that's a good thing meaning it's, it's protected and a lot of these scratches a little superficial getting in is just in the blue blue stuff so that's good i got to show you on the other side the shifter boot has a uh, little tear in it so that's that's kind of a bummer that's pretty much the biggest one all right the lower rocker panels here have normal wear and tear uh, you know a little bit of peppering but that's typical see it down there so you can just see a little bit of it reflecting right now brakes look great definitely tons of meat on that no scratches anywhere now this is kind of my favorite thing that I see happening a lot with four GTs so now we are looking at the uh, passenger side uh, fog light do you see all the gunk that's in there uh, that's very typical, so you have to blow that out. A lot of times you have to pull these things, you have to pull these out. But if you look closely, I'll try to uh, get a better picture of it um, without being behind the camera. Around this little ring here, there's a gasket, and the gasket is missing in this little spot. It's not missing, it's just crushed. So it's, again, very not weird. The other car, remember the last black one that we did? Same thing. Typical underneath the... Uh underneath there see the scratches from being low totally normal and then uh, I'll take a pretty shot from underneath but underneath looks beautiful it's all winded stray for high speed up here this thing works which is huge very very important um, also kind of a big deal new looks like a new battery and the uh, and they they're not corroded or anything because a lot of times the gauges get funky and remember this is uh, where is it? It's over there. There's a tray that goes in here. So I pulled the tray out so I could take a look. It could use a little detail, but not the end of the world. Let me show you the last little thing. And you guys can be the judge. Right here, right there. So let me focus. So there's a tear in the boot right there. So for me, um, that's all I've seen really, that being the, the biggest thing. And maybe you guys can help me. Usually there's a Macintosh um, radio that's in the car, and there isn't, there isn't one here. And I, maybe it is, but I can't tell, and I've never seen one like that. They might, in fact, be stock. So anybody out there, any Ford GT geeks uh, who know that, definitely uh, put it on the comments below or, or, or send me an email. I'd like to know that. Uh, 3,600 and change miles, uh, and it certainly looks like it. It's a beautiful car. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to take some more beauty shots of it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Any questions, shoot me an email. Larry at AmmoNYC.com. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll be in touch. Bye. Here you go, brother. Yes, we'll swap. That was yeah. successful.